All right, I want to do a quick video here, a review of a particular interesting um, family Bible. I have two of them here, actually. I had this one I found, and then this one was sent to me, or vice versa. I forget which how it, how it is, but uh, rather interesting uh, family Bible. Let me show you. So here you have it, this holy Bible here. See, what's so interesting about it? It's Masonic. This is a Masonic uh, family Bible. Show you some interesting things in this thing. Holy Bible presented to Brother Edward A. Morandi by Hawthorne Fortitude Lodge. Number 200, free and accepting Masons. So you know he was white. Okay? Because Prince Hall Masonry is the one for the black people. Okay, there you got the effeminate, blonde-haired, Catholic Christ. Genealogy record, children's record, grandparents, blah, blah, blah great-grandparents. Keep going here. How about that picture right there? The fatherhood of God, the brotherhood of man. And there you have George Washington with a nice all-seeing eye radiating down over the White House. Nice imagery there. And if you don't understand the Masonic thing here, the um, white apron there is made of lamb's wool. And it symbolizes the veil that veils the uh, Holy of Holies from the God of Masonry, which is right directly behind the veil. Excuse me there, I have to point there. That's the God of Masonry. You see the square, you see the compass, you know, this, this thing here, right there, the G in the middle, does not stand for God. It does not stand for geometry. It stands for generativity. What is the... Downward pointing, there the uh, compass. The compass is symbolizing the male. The square is symbolizing the female. What do you get when they come together? Generativity. It is a sex symbol. Okay. Here you have Masonic presidents of our country. Masonic presidents. I'll zoom in here so you can read a little bit better. George Washington, Mason, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, James Monroe, Andrew Jackson, James Knox, Polk, James Buchanan, Andrew Johnson, James Garfield, William McKinley, Theodore Roosevelt, William Howard Taft, Warren uh, Gamaliel Harding, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Harry S. Truman, Gerald Ford. Okay, interesting. We zoom out here. Here you have the Masonic thing of the building of the temple, building of Solomon's temple, and you have the whole Hiram Abiff and all this other stuff, Masonic folklore. And there they talk about the building of Solomon's temple. Okay. Here we have some more things. Doesn't have that stuff filled or, or filled out there, but officers, Hawthorne Fortitude, Lodge Number Two Hundred. There's the different officers, 1993. Here you have the Order of the Eastern Star symbol, officers, chapter of Order of the Eastern Star, visiting brethren and friends, ancient and accepted Scottish Rite record, York Rite record. Goes down through there. You can see all that weird stuff. Knights Templar. Yay. Isn't that wonderful? The George Washington Masonic National Memorial. The Scottish Rite Temple, Washington, D.C. The Eastern Star International Headquarters General, Washington, D.C. Here you have Freemasonry and the Holy Bible. They go into the all the different things here. Um, but you know they go into all this different stuff all the different rites and all the different things and uh, again you know I'm not even going to you know if you want to look for one of these at a bookstore or something whatever but uh, 
questions and answers relating to the history and work of Freemasonry and of the Eastern Star, not of a biblical nature. <laughs> uh, it's pretty much all not of a biblical nature. So, but it gets into all the different stuff in through here. You know, again, like I said, it's this isn't even. I'm not, not even really going to waste time on this. Biblical index to Freemasonry. Yeah. Really, really weird stuff in this thing. Growth of Freemasonry in recent years. So, get into King Solomon's Temple. They talk about the Bible. Calendar for daily reading. Biblical character building chart. Lenten season for 100 years, making a success of the Christian life, including material for personal work. Sure, yeah, that's going to be something the Masons are really interested in, I'm sure. Life and teachings of Jesus Christ. It's got all this stuff in it. Bible questions, and then it goes into the book of Genesis. Okay, I don't know if there's any other pictures in here that would be of any interest. I don't, it's been a while since I looked at this thing. But again, i got to clean out my library. So you can see that the text is actually fairly nice and, and whatever else, but uh, you know, I have no idea if there's any kind of things here in the footnotes or anything else that are Masonic in origin. But uh, you go in through here and, um, and basically, yeah, there's just a lot of just study helps and whatever else. You can see some of the stuff here. In the back, dictionary of the Bible and whatever else, you know. I have this in other ones. Or you get into Revelation, whatever, red letter edition. You say, well, Brian, uh, what edition is that? What version is this? It's King James Version. Oh, no. It's a Masonic conspiracy. The King James is a Masonic Bible. Well, it is true that the Masons do exclusively use the King James Bible. You say, why is that? Why would they fool around with something that isn't the Word of God? I mean, if you get Satanists, you know, the devil comes along, he's quoting Scripture. Why would the Masons use something like the NIV? Why? You say, well, but I heard that King James was a high-level Mason and, and that, that the whole thing behind the King James Bible, it's all a Masonic conspiracy. You know, I heard a guy say the one time that it's, uh, was a guy, uh, Francis Bacon, that he, he was the one that actually wrote the King James Bible. Well, if that's true, then that was a really stupid thing for a bunch of Satanists to do because the King James Bible has led more souls to the Lord Jesus Christ than any other Bible in history. And there was the anti-Masonic party that just about ran these weirdos out of the country of America. So why would they write a King James Bible when the King James Bible condemns their sins. It doesn't make much sense. Okay, don't fall for that conspiracy stuff. There's some of this David Bay, cutting edge type of nonsense, foolish nonsense, where they're saying the King James Bible was a Masonic conspiracy and Francis Bacon was behind this, all the stuff like this. That stuff is nonsense, total nonsense. Okay, this thing here proves the fact that the Satanists are going to try and blaspheme the Word of God. They try and corrupt the Word of God by bringing out their own editions of it. That's what this proves. You see, what are you going to do with it? I'm going to get rid of them. I'm going to burn them. You see, but it's the King James text. King James text, but it's wrapped in a very corrupt thing here. You know? And, it, you know, the thing is, I would cut the pages out and stuff like that, use them for scanned whatever else. I, I don't even know. But the, you know... Is the text okay? I haven't really checked it. I'm not really sure. You know? I don't know. I don't know about the footnotes here. I don't know about some of the stuff that's being written in here. I have no idea. To me, I have so many of these things sitting around, so many King James Bibles. I don't want these Masonic things in my house. And again, if you have this occult stuff, I mean, the Lord's been really convicting me. I'm a researcher, okay? There are times I've bought these things and stuff, and I've, I've, I show them on camera to help people come out of their sins and come out of things and, and to be convinced that, yes, this stuff is bad. But, you know, there's times it's just good to get rid of this stuff. And that's what I'm doing here with this study. So, uh, 
just wanted to put this video together quickly. I, like I said, I've had these things sitting around and it's just like, I'm gonna get rid of them. I do have another one or two of them around someplace. I, I forget where they're even at, but I do have a couple smaller ones that are Masonic, one from the Order of the Eastern Star. I showed it in my Ridiculous Bible Perversions of the New Age study. But, you know, you shouldn't have this stuff in your home, brethren. Get rid of it, okay? That's my advice. So thank you very much for watching and uh, look forward to some more videos in the future uh, covering some interesting topics. So that's going to be it. Thank you for watching.